Yeah, here we'll show a little bit about how the circuit board works. Works. This is in Danish text now. We'll go down to settings. We'll change it to English. Press right. You can only press in the direction the arrow has on the front page. You can only watch. Now we go down to password. There, press right. You see the arrow is dividing. Then press up. Hold it in. Now we go to password 82. That's where in setting you change if different models or language or accessories. All the passwords gives 10 together. 8 plus 2 gives 10. If you go into password 37, 3 plus 7 gives 10. Then press right. Now we're in software CS150. We know it is that. We only want to change the language from Danish to English. Now we've changed that. When you have made changes here, remember to go into password 37 and service menu and save settings. Now we're back again here. Program pellets, it stopped. Now we want to do a startup. So if we say this system is equipped with a Rotec, then the Rotec is coming in here. You take the flexible hose off, put it in the plastic bag. Let the Rotec run until you know the auger is full and it comes out with full amount of fuel. Then empty the plastic bag, put it on again. Get a colleague to press the start button for one minute, then stop and take the plastic bag off and weigh how many kilos. Then we go back to the control panel. We go down to settings, press right. We go down to weigh in menu. It was there, weigh in menu. And let us say this customer wants to run on grain and we say, he, okay, the grain has a weight on 8.5 kilo. That's what the colleague he measured with his weight on the plastic bag. Now that's adjusted. Remember, if you have a bad fuel or whatever, if you want to give it less amount of fuel, you have to increase this to so say instead of 8.5 kilo, go to 9.5 or 10 kilo. The more you tell here, the less it gives. But those kilos here we have put in 8.5 kilos it's an average what the boiler is using so th that means that in the grain program we have a maximum and a minimum so it find out together with the lambda probe what amount of fuel it has to add so now it's ready to, to start up before we do the startup we'll check that the o2 Auto, that's the lambda probe. In the fresh air around us, we have 20.9% O2. So this one is okay. If it doesn't show close to 20.9, we have to calibrate the lambda probe. We go down to setting. We go down to calibrate O2. And we just change this one from no. You see the arrow changing. Pressure up. Yes. Then it jumps back to the front page. And then it's 20.9, 21. Yeah. Now we're ready to do the startup. Then uh, we say the customer starting with grain. Grain is not that light flammable. You pressure the auger and start. until you've got fuel full in the back ring and a little bit in the first ring from the back end with the air hose. Then you drag a little bit of the fuel a bit to number two ring with air hose and press stop here. Then you take some wood pellets with a little bit of oil in, maybe wrap it in a piece of paper, push it in and ignite it. Close the door and then you look at the O2 Auto. When it starts dropping, you know you've got fire in there. Because when the O2 level is dropping down, it's using some of the air. 
when it drops down to perhaps 20, 19.5, you press the start button. And then it will start with a soft start very slowly and start to blow, blow very slowly. And it takes a time. Let us say we are in a, a grain program, the soft start takes 30 minutes before it comes to, goes over to 100%. And that's because the grain is so easy, flammable. It needs some high temperature around. And then it's ready to run. The